It's really a pretty pure motive, uh, as I understand it, and I've always understood it, that they really wanted to help the careers of these, what they're called young artists, but they're, they can be really of any age as long as the average age for the ensemble is 30, less than 31. And so they really just wanted to help these ensembles. Certainly it would reflect well on Chesapeake music if it was a success, but there was no guarantee of that. What really distinguishes this one is uh, perhaps two things. One is that they are, the finalists are afforded the opportunity to give a concert length performance without being interrupted by questions or canceled or dismissed halfway through. And the other is the value of our judges who really are committed to them and take the time to critique in a, in a solid way their performances person to person on Sunday morning after the competition and in written comments. And, and the young professionals have said constantly that 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 was something that really helped them in their careers. And it's certainly proven true with the successes that many of our winners have oh, had. On Sunday morning, we have a breakfast, and uh, it's really to honor the, the finalists. And so they go off, physically go off into a separate room with the judges and with Ann and with me, and uh, they get their checks, which they like very much at that point. But what they're really looking for, as Ann said, is to get those critiques. What they comment about almost as much as the judges' input or critiques is this town. It's really Easton and surrounds yeah. Oxford, St. Michael's, Cambridge, and so forth. But they said this is a very different competition because the whole community gets behind it. And that's why we get 200 and some 300 people to come to the event. Yeah.